Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast. Weather rate certified 11 years in a row. Well, the first week of 2023 has brought us some rain, sleet, snow, and today some sunshine. Meteorologist Nate Larson is here with what's coming up next. Yeah, Rick, it was a beautiful day. We had a lot of folks out uh, sending in their weather photos out enjoying the sunshine. But yeah, we do have more weather on the way. It's been an active uh, start to 2023. and We're going to continue that trend with more storms lining up. A view from St. George this evening from Southern Utah University Camera Network showing some of the high clouds. You can see the moon as well, just at the top of the screen. Full moon yesterday was the full wolf moon, which is in January. So it's starting to it still appears full this evening, but we'll start to lose some of that moonlight uh, as we progress uh, into next week. Park City Mountain looks beautiful this evening as well. A view of all the snow out there. Again, all of our mountain areas are doing tremendously well with snowpack with all of the systems that have been moving through. And we, again, have another one moving in a weak system tomorrow. Some of the south winds across uh, the Wasatch Front ahead of this next weak trough that's going to move in. 39 degrees is where we're sitting at. Southeast winds at 5 miles an hour, making it feel like 36. So not much of an impact there. But temperatures are doing pretty well. Uh, we were 45 for the high today with some of the sunshine that was out. So calm conditions overnight. Well, we will continue to see increasing clouds and showers into Sunday. Just a few light rain showers for northern valleys and the mountain areas, some light snow. We have another storm system lined up Monday into Tuesday and Tuesday into Wednesday that should bring more heavy snowfall to the mountain areas. Some aversion trapping in some of the pollution, even some low level fog for some areas uh, in Uinta, Duchesne County. So Uinta Basin seeing again poor air quality and colder temperatures for areas like Vernal. Uh, we're actually in the moderate air quality, I should say that's the forecast for tomorrow. Cache Valley in moderate as well. Otherwise, things look pretty good across the Wasatch Front for Salt Lake, Davis, Weber, uh, even Utah counties. Uh, it looks like Emory County is doing okay as well, or Carbon County, I should say. Uh, looking at uh, southwest flow into tomorrow. Again, another weak system, as I mentioned, moving through. It's a pretty quick hitting storm system. It'll be here late morning and be out of here by early afternoon. And then southwest flow will show yet another batch of weather. This one tapping into subtropical moisture, another atmospheric river event, if you will. We'll end up bringing some heavy mountain snow valley rain showers. This is 8 o'clock Monday evening. We get another wave of moisture after a brief lull into Tuesday morning as another system moves in Tuesday into Wednesday. So we'll keep a very active pattern early next week with chances of rain primarily for the valleys with milder temperatures in place. So slight chance of moisture tomorrow late Monday as well. Best chance of rain will be on Tuesday. Wednesday still some lingering moisture. Thursday Friday appear to be pretty quiet. Looking at uh, temperatures overnight we're in the 20s for much of northern Utah. The valley locations just 13 in Vernal, 20 for a high tomorrow. 28 in Cedar City, 35 in St. George, 54 for your high tomorrow, 45 in Lake Powell. Mid 50s again on Monday for St. George. Plan on breezy winds, slight chance of some rain. Rain on Tuesday with showers lingering into Wednesday. A break from moisture Thursday, Friday. High pressure will build back in. We should be in the mid 50s for highs. Breezy winds Saturday. Could see more weather into Sunday next weekend. Mountain areas, or Wasatch Front, I should say. We'll see some snow showers. The Wasatch Front, some rain. Slight chance of moisture tomorrow. Mid 40s expected on Monday. Some showers late, rain on Tuesday. Could be a bit soggy out there again as this moisture is coming in from the subtropical region, so it's going to bring some heavy snow. 42 on Wednesday, showers I think primarily early but clearing out. Partly cloudy skies under high pressure with mid 40s for highs into next weekend as well. Rick.